what's going on guys and welcome to totally accurate battle simulator just released on steam early access if you guys don't know what this game is it simulates battles aka you could do like 50 men versus a mammoth or there's a couple of different units and you pin these units against each other there's also a campaign uh we will get into the campaign in the future of course if you guys want to see more please leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new here um we're gonna start with sandbox just kind of messing around for a little bit and then maybe we'll we'll go into the campaign if need be or of course if you guys want to see me play that so we're gonna start with sandbox um so ancient sandbox i guess it's just kind of different worlds that you can choose from so as i said before you kind of pin two teams against each other like you can do a bunch of these dudes versus a bunch of these dudes and then you start and you watch them battle it out So you, you kind of get the gist now, right? And it, it's kind of hilariously awesome. I'm assuming the shield guys are going to win. Because they had a lot more power than the the, uh, the clubbers. We could just end the battle and kind of start where we want to start. And we can clear both sides. So with that, uh, these are the different classes and whatnot that you can get to fight each other. So let's see. Let's do a mammoth versus... Um, a bunch of halflings. We're going to try to equal out their power just to see. Or do a little bit more. So Mammoth versus a bunch of Frodo's. Uh, as you can tell, the, the, mammoth, <laughs> the Mammoth is definitely winning. That was very easy for the Mammoth. All right. Let's see what else can take down the Mammoth. What about a, a Scarecrow? I don't know what a Scarecrow does. He has a bunch of crows on him. Oh my. They're throwing birds. Wow. Okay, the scarecrows are pretty strong. Let's find out what the strongest unit in the game is, right? So, out of everything, Zeus? Okay. So, who can take down Zeus? How about Zeus versus a mammoth? How about Zeus versus an army of mammoths? I guess it's because Zeus has range, he's going to win. Oh. I guess not. Oh my god. Uh, Who would have thunk a mammoth could kill Zeus? Okay. So far, uh, mammoth is number one. What else could we go for? So mammoth is the strongest here. Scarecrow, just one scarecrow versus mammoth. How about that? I think Scarecrow's winning here. Okay. So what ultimately is going to be the strongest class? Scarecrow seems like it's not actually 1200 power. All right. Scarecrow versus King. I think Scarecrow's about to win again. Okay. So in one-on-one, -on -one, Scarecrow so far is the strongest unit. How about Zeus versus Scarecrow? Really? I don't think the power on the scarecrow is this is is accurate. A long ship? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um let's clear this side and do a long ship versus scarecrow. They just threw <laughs> They just through the ship onto the scarecrow. Okay, which did an obscene amount of damage, which ultimately leads them to be uh, the strongest, I suppose. Let's do an all out war, right? Let's do like clubbers on each side. You know what? No, because we can, what we'll do is we'll actually do like a real war, right? So protectors are going to be in the front. Spear throwers will be more towards the back. Stoners, I'm assuming they just throw stones. Bone mages are going to be kind of towards the middle. Chieftains will be right here. And they're going to have two mammoths at their back, right? Okay. Now, this is kind of... These are... These are hmm, I'm not sure if these guys are going to be able to win. 
but we'll try it. So this is going to be halflings, farmers, hay balers, potion sellers, harvesters, some wheelbarrowers, and a couple of scarecrows. And as you guys saw, the scarecrows are, are pretty OP, so we'll put, we'll put one in the back. We'll also just put one mammoth. All right, now all at war. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so those magicians, those bone magicians are really doing work. I really don't even know who's winning. It's hard to know. Oh, God. All right, so red team's going to win there. And we got a hot crash arena. All right, so there is a lot more groups here. Uh, one thing that I definitely... The snake archer seems cool, but I've seen some ballista footage and how hilarious this can be versus, like, real people. So watch. When the ballista hits them, they go absolutely flying. Come on, shoot the ballistas. Boom. Dead. Ballistas are... So they knocked him over. They didn't kill him. Oh, they're not going to even get it off. The shielders are going to easily take those out. Oh, here come some shots. Boom. <laughs> The poor ballista boys. Oh, there's still one over here? Are you not wound up yet, dude? There it is. He's wound up. Thump. <laughs> so there's a couple of guys alive still right there. Maybe this, this ballista might win. He might win. No, oh, shield guys are going to get him. Oh, wait. Boom. Oh, that was close, though. I went right in between them. So you're starting to get the gist of the game. Um... This is kind of what I wanted to do for you guys. Just give you like a quick episode on what the game is and give you ideas on what you could see if, if you wanted me to do a full campaign. Let's play. Let's do wheelbarrowers versus real barrelers and just see kind of where this is going to end up. <laughs> oh, God. This is an absolute mosh pit. I believe in you. I don't really know who's winning here. Somebody's winning. I love the noises that they're making. This isn't going too swimmingly, though. Yeah, blue wins. Sure. No idea. What's going on there? Potion sellers. Scarecrows are still super strong. Um, minotaurs. We already did that. Knights catapults the king. How about a king versus a king? I want to see what the kings do. I think they just have big ass swords. Oh, they're actually Our like diverted. clinking swords Our together. Diverted. Why are they only hitting each other? Oh, wait, they're stuck inside each other. Are they going to start kicking each other? They're doing a little dance. They're like head button. Oh, God. They're doing like a dance. Both their swords are stuck inside each other. Blue wins. Seems like blue just has the advantage today. All right. So one thing that I did see was head butters. I really want to figure out where those are. Here we are. There's an army of head butters versus an army of head butters. 3780 is what we're going for. All right, this is the headbutt wars of 2019. Oh god. Oh god. Gee whiz. Well, I think red wins for once. Ultimately, I think that's what's happening. There's still someone alive in this pile, and they're trying to get to him. There's a blue dude in this pile somewhere they're trying to kill. There he is. Nice. Okay, I really like the headbutters. That's cool. Berserker. Just Berserker War? I'm down. Let's go ahead and start that up. Oh, so they're headbutters with... Okay. Holy crap. I just like finding out what all the units do. Hell yeah. That was intense. I love how they have the hairy armpits. Red team's going to get another W here, huh? Look at that. All right. Headbutters are cool. Berserkers are cool. Valkyries? 
they fly. They also just kind of headbutt each other. <laughs> this is a flying war. This is going to end quicker because the bodies aren't going to get in the way. Oh, Blue just smoked them. I wonder if it has to do with the way like I set them up. Or if it's just completely random. This is going to be fun. Longship versus longship. They're just going to throw the longships at each other. And now the people on the ships are fighting. Okay, I see. Red wins again. Okay. So just for reference, let me go ahead and main menu this for you. Let's do the first campaign mission. I'll show you kind of what it's about. Um, an introduction to the game, the adventure, a collection of fun, and interesting levels. So tree tribe. So ultimately, this is this is a group. This is a tribe that we need to take over. Um, we have 3,000 points to spend. So we need to spend those points on who we think would work best for killing this tree tribe. Uh, ultimately, you would want something ranged, right? So I'm going to do like a group of archers. Actually, no, the Valkyries might actually work really well here. Let me see. We'll do some Valkyries, right? And maybe a couple of Ballistas. We just should get some Archers too. So now we need to figure... Oh, they jumped out of the trees. It seems like the Valkyries might actually do the work. We'll find out though. So you have a certain number of points that you uh, spend. And then you have to beat the campaign via using those points. Eventually it gets pretty hard and there's only like certain ways to beat each mission so gotta be careful okay they're dead kill him kill him get him get him i think we just won so that was the way to beat the first mission and then you would move on to the next mission here which is killing the farmers uh, with 3100 i'm just gonna use a mammoth to kill the farmers and then how about a couple of shield bearers to follow the mammoth in Escheat. Here we go. Mammoth shouldn't have too much issue killing these guys. Yep. Mammoth is having no issues. It looks like the shield bearers might have been the wrong choice. But the mammoth is really just... He's just destroying. That's all we needed was a mammoth. No problem. So you get the gist of the game. Um, as I said, if you guys want to see more, please leave a like the video. And uh, we'll play through the whole campaign and uh, kind of just play alongside, have fun with it, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I think the strongest unit, in my opinion, might be the Scarecrow. Let's finish off the episode with just using Scarecrows. And there was a dude that would heal. I'm trying to figure out what guy that was, if I remember correctly. Potion seller, maybe? I'll add a couple farmers in there for why not. But I'll show you. These scarecrows, man. This is where it's at. Look at that. They're not even going to stand a chance against the scarecrows. I'm telling you through and through. Scarecrows OP. Here come more scarecrows. Dead. 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 This one scarecrow even killed Zeus, guys. Except now that they're close range, I don't know if they're going to survive. Nope. Nope. Okay. So maybe it's better on a 1v1 scenario. Definitely not good with a group. I don't know what the hell the best unit is. I guess each unit has its strengths and each unit has its weaknesses. And it's the Scarecrow's weaknesses seem to be large groups of enemies. So there is no strongest unit, after all. Today I learned. Peace out.